Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Mad Shot, an acrobatic action roguelite that we're going to be checking out here as part of the Steam Next Fest demos coming out soon. Oh my. Oh my god, it got loud! On this grand stage, man fancies himself an actor. He is but vermin groveling beneath the floorboards. It's a rigged game. There are ways of ascension for those unburdened by childish notions of morality. That's the darkest dungeon vibes to the extreme right there. But I've bent the rules before. This time, I will see them break. Well, alrighty then. Yeah. I mean, hey. I'm excited to check it out. That was a very extremely Darkest Dungeon vibes there. Uh, like, not only the art style, of course, there, but... Yeah, just the narration and the, and the stress effect. But alas. Uh, ooh. All right. Oh, 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 oh my god. Okay. Pick up. <laughs> I mean, it feels kind of fluid. I don't know, man. You can wall jump. I don't understand the physics of that, but hey, I'll take it. Walk up. Fair. Got really quiet, too, by comparison. Straight. <laughs> Yeah, it's like the uh, the uh, intro thing was very loud. This is not though. Okay. Hello. Woo! That actually feels kind of nice. I don't know, man. All right. Here we go. We got, of course, our our quintessential graph here. Uh, main boss, epic fights. We got a mini boss, alteration, upgrades that change the game. Okay, I have to. We have to start there. Okay, anything to do with this? Kill enough enemies to open the blood portal. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, is this game sick? Hold on. Wait a minute, is this game sick? That, that slow-mo when we grabbed something and threw it there felt so cool. Okay, wait, this actually feels really nice. <laughs> I don't know why I was, uh, I was concerned there for a moment. This feels... Okay, this feels pretty cool. It's just like a raw power fantasy feeling right there. Just like the, the rolls are quite generous. I don't know if they have iframes on them or not, but... Okay. I'm trying to test it out. No, they do not seem to have iframes. Okay. It's important to test that out now. Oh my god. Oh god. They do not. They help you get around like a little bit quicker. I mean, I'm sure there's some kind of... What? An ominous black mirror where you can see yourself in another time. Touch it. Seems like it can be entered. I mean, maybe. Let's pick up this. Clip size is increased by 8. When you take damage, your next attack does 500% bonus damage. You have a 20% chance of stunning nearby enemies when rolling. This can be leveled up multiple times. Oh, they all can be leveled up multiple times. Hold on! Wow, wait. I'm, like, actually really intrigued already. Hmm. Let me get the chance to stun. Wait, it's... I saw the uh, the little yellow circle there. I'm assuming that's what that is. Is there anything else here? Anything in the breakables? Yes, sir. But yeah, no iframe on the roll. It, it can be fine. Like, it, it just has to be balanced around. I'm going to go for more of the upgrades. Because honestly, that was a... Uh, those are some genuinely cool... Ah, cool upgrades. Man, the enemies do move quite fast, though. So let's actually just use, you know, our weapon. Rip. Rip. God, the, do the dodge roll does not gain a lot of distance, however. I think it's just the fact that we, we got to use our double jump more. Like, the one jump is not enough to get away from, like, any enemies at all here. Oh, and the dodge roll does not gain you any, like, speed. It's a utility thing. 
Am I wrong? Yeah, it gives you like a... It gives you a very small amount of speed, but... It gives you like enough. There's enough of a base foundation that I imagine we can get really mobile and agile with enough upgrades and stuff. Like there's a lot of room for... Um, there's a lot of axes of interaction for things that we could upgrade. When you take damage, you have a chance of getting healed. Enemies have a chance to spawn an explosion on death. Extra bonus on killing enemies. I'll tell you what. Well, we're checking it out for the first time here. Let's go for this. Um, but yeah, we're taking lots of damage there. So can we do it? So, like, hold on. Can we do a double jump into a wall jump? We can do a double jump into a wall jump. I think that's another important thing to do. Double jump into a wall jump into a dodge roll. Yep. You can do double jump, wall jump. Can you wall jump into a wall jump? Okay. All right. So we can do that. Can you wall jump into a double jump? Maybe. Kind of. Sort of. I, I'm, try, I'm still trying to figure out the, the rules there. Uh-oh. Yeah, that was, that was spicy. Get out of my face, man. What was it to grab that W, I think? Okay. Oh my god. We'll, we'll get used to it. Ugh. I want to grab that thing so bad just to just to swing on it for fun. Can we like right click to grab it? Nah. I feel like a right click to grab would almost be more logical. Because it's, it's not super responsive. Okay, that was... Okay, that's pretty cool. This is just like a cool, edgy fight sim. And I'm, I'm honestly kind of here for it. Usually I'm not, I'm not like a, ooh, I love the edgy kind of vibes. But here I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. And it fits the kind of like high octane, uh, super mobile kind of actions. Oh, God, I couldn't get up there in time. What is this about? Is that something I should break? Is that, should I go there? I go. Okay. Uh, Essence charges your ult meter. Ult meter. Okay, these are ult. Press Q. Oh my God. Okay. As it, it well, boy, what a, what a time for that uh, to to happen. But your attacks reach further, gain an extra jump. Okay. It's just straight up like an entire extra jump. It's not like a weaker jump or anything, is it? It's well. It's as strong as our uh, as our double jump. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna turn up the volume on this game now. Now though, it's like that. That's the one big thing that I. That's like the big thing I'm having issues with is the audio balance is all over the place. Like if I had the settings where I oh, do right now when the, <laughs> the cinematic started, just get out of my face, man. That would have been a disaster. We would have all died, probably. Okay. Just, can that go through walls? It cannot. Oh, get wrecked. So he's got, like, a little bit of a shield there. Ah, oh, I tried to go through. Woo, baby, come and get me. Weak point. Oh, my God. Like, just getting the re-grab on it. Okay, so, like, there's genuine real physics on it there, so we have to actually... Oh. <laughs> that's... Okay, that's a lot of fun. Using the swinging thing feels really neat. Oh, my God. I want to get back up there. I feel incredibly weak when I don't have it. Don't... Oh. Is that guy ever going to die? There we go. Throw the rock. Go. Oh! Are we invincible, like, in addition to everything? Are we also invincible during that? Busted. Alright, it's like, yeah, the enemies don't pull their punches with how quickly they come towards you and everything, too. I, I dig it in the sense of, like, it's one of those games where the enemies are brutal, but they give you lots of tools to play around. Meaning that the skill ceiling of this seems quite high. Your attacks slow down enemies. That seems really nice. You do extra damage when clinging to walls? Uh, let's do slowing down enemies. 
Okay. Uh... Go, 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 go! Whoa! Not like this! I was hoping we get a, uh, a roll stun here. Seems like a stun is not like a full stun, though. Maybe just, just a... Shoot. Bad timing on where that tentacle moved to. We are slowly dying here. I'm excited to start again, though. I'm really, like, genuinely excited. To oh, my God. That thing spawning on me is so annoying. That tentacle needs to go. It is perhaps the most annoying thing. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Everything just, like, falls like crazy. They get, They really do. Oh, that's... Uh, okay, so that's acid. Sorry. There's just so many things to freaking analyze going on at the same time here. I just got some kind of essence, I guess. Ether. Currency that is kept when you die. I see. Do we have meta progress as far as like strength goes? Uh, I was trying to turn that around really quick. Oh, that you can't. Okay. This you can stand on, but this you can't jump on. I got to say, ropes are feeling pretty OP. And I dig it. Oh, look at that tiny little rat. Oh. Oh. Go, 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 go. I'm <laughs> hanging upside down, man. Bullet time on the rope. This is just absolutely cool guy sim 2022. Oh. Look how cool I am. Oh, boy. Not like this. Uh, I tried. Oh, that thing is on the ceiling. That is actually an enemy. Okay. Oh, my God. The moves you can do. Is that guy going to come and get me? Okay. Uh, Yeah, that was, that was like a not going to get out of that in time. Whoop. Abuse the rope. Abuse the rope. Get all the flying enemies so we can just play uh, cheesy on the rope. Whew. Yikes. Big old yikes. What the hell? The knowledgeable man. Oh, this is a real man. Is this I thought it was a statue. Definitely make this move when the full game is out. This is just a demo, of course. Lose 40 max health. Gain five alterations, and you know what? I'll tell you what, I'm almost dead. Die and come back, but you have increased powers. So did I, I got piercing shot, rip tip, ethereal, the seeker. Is there any way to check out what those do? I don't, I'm not. Ah, okay. So y this, yes, yes. Transmutations, items, hold on. So these are not even, there's two other ways that the game can change up. That's crazy. My bullets bounce. Thrown objects become homing. When airborne, your dodge chance is increased by 30%. Your attacks do five more damage. Pierce through enemies. Guys, the, the, the upgrades in this are, like, good. <laughs> like, they're really good. So many action... I don't know why. So many action roguelites have such boring upgrades, man. Like, that's one area where it feels like a lot of strategy and deck builder roguelikes have super shown... But I'm gonna die here, that's for sure. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm about to die. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, there, I'm about to die already. Okay, go. Super duper do it. Maybe we actually will be fine. We actually got very powerful. Alright. Okay. Maybe we'll be fine. Uh. Oh, I dodged it because I was in the air. 30% dodge chance in the air, son of a gun, dude. Let's go. He has a lot of attacks. He has a lot of attacks. Guys, this game is really good. What? Wow. This game is like actually... This game is really good. <laughs> Some... I don't know, sometimes I go into these demos and these games each day with like a preconceived, uh, preconceived notion. Yeah, fully understand that that's probably all that's going to be in the demo there. 300 plus upgrades, six zones, abomination. I'm going to play again. I'm going to play again. I can't wait to play again. Like, man, the grind.
transmutations equipped. That needs to be two Ps there. So we have a couple... Okay, so you could upgrade your slots. I actually kind of... Okay, like I typically I'm not a meta progress boy, but... This seems quite limited in the sense that you can, like, hit your maximum really quickly. So, like, we can put in these. You see, it's kind of like a Paper Mario badge system. You know, not that that's, like, the only thing that does it. A s wait. Roll invincibility. Nice. Throw damage. Tr dodge chance. We can only do a one bopper, so let's go for that. And then the more meta currency you get, the more slots you get. I, I really like that system. That's super cool. Menu still un under construction. Relics. Active. I'm just trying to get a trying to get a grasp for what this is going to be. Slows time. Oh, so these are that's uh there's gonna be active items in the game. Gotcha. This is a very nice looking room. I mean, like obviously it's a very um very darkest dungeon kind of inspired visual set but i don't know it, it, it's doing a good job at least it's not doing it and doing a bad job that's the thing like translating that to an action game is is genuinely difficult because typically i am not one like you can hear me say it a lot of times i'm not one for the kind of marionette style animation but it's where you kind of like have the 2d images and you sort of puppeteer them but i think this i think it, actually ends up working quite well in this and the action is flowing so fast you don't really have time to you know even judge it anyways look at that that has like a black hole son of a gun the big thing that always trips that keeps tripping me is how quickly enemies fall down though like sometimes they jump and sometimes they like fall out of the sky from a platform up there and it's just like really tough okay i want to try the iframes oh my god there you go. There you go. Anybody who went and complained about iframes in, in the uh, beginning, because there's a lot of people who will not play an action roguelike if it doesn't have them. Whoop. There you go. Put it on the... Uh, put it on your meta progress. There you go. This game has iframes on the dodge as well. There goes another another potential point of complaints. Really, that, that puts me down to basically just like, man, balance the audio better. <laughs> Balance the audio better, and then there's like a little bit of a uh, little bit of wackiness with oh my god, enemies falling down from platforms, like walking off platforms, because they have such a slow floaty um, kind of a thing going on when they um, oh you you are not invincible during this, you just have a big slowdown. They move super slow when they're jumping, and it's really easy to predict. But like when they just literally walk off the platform, it almost feels like maybe they shouldn't be able to. Or if they do, they should try and do a jump animation. Doesn't happen often. It doesn't happen often, which makes it so when it does, it's really weird. But other than that, like, that's... Let me tell you. Okay, so this is a thing. Coming across an ancient urn, it's sealed. Even these little things, like these events inside of rooms, feels very inspired by strategy roguelikes. Come across an ancient urn, it's sealed, but something rattles on the inside. Lose 10 health. Temporary, but gain an alteration. Don't mind if I do. When enemies killed, an en enemies nearby, an enemy is nearby are stunned. What was that? What did I just get? Why is... Th this is so good. Why have I not heard about this uh, in development? Man. Okay, let's go up and check out what a store looks like. I'm, yeah, the, the bummer, the bummer really is just that, man, I wish the demo had more because I want to play this so bad. I want to play a lot of this so bad. Finally, finally, a new good action roguelike, man. I've been saying, like, I don't know, man, there's, there's some cool, there's some cool ones here and there that have been coming out, but... Strategy roguelikes have been having a field day and absolutely, oh my god, styling. Styling on action roguelikes for the past, like, year or two. Like, just by sheer number of quality ones. Oh my god. I keep on thinking I have a third jump. And this, I think, 
even like the different quality of uh, all the different elements of throwables is super, super neat. Whoop. Uh, it's just like, yeah, strategy roguelikes have been styling just the, as far as amount of sheer high quality ones. And I understand it's because it's, it's tough to make a fluid combat. Oh God. Fluid combat. Ah, God. Combat system. Come on, dodge rolls. Oh my Jesus Christ. There's so many here. It's hard to make a fluid combat system. It's harder to do that than it is to, uh, make a collection of systems. Because you have to make a collection of systems here and have combat that feels good. There's a lot of... Most action roguelikes have one or the other recently. Like, I, like Revita's, Revita is good. But, like, other than that, I just... They've been fewer and far, further between than, uh, than recently. Or at least, maybe I'm just thinking last year. Not that there haven't, haven't been any, but, like, I can think of, like, 20 or 30 strategy action or strategy roguelites that I consider to be incredible that came out of last year or the year before so this is just so exciting to me oh my god it's so promising it is so pro promising I need to get good though because jeez there's so many enemies here yeah the uh, the iframe on the dodge roll is I couldn't see myself wanting to take that off God, look at how cool things are when you... Okay, I don't know what that thing is. Scout point. The man sees something special in you. He offers you an amulet. Take it. Yes, always stronger, but cannot understand the man's intentions. With each encounter, 30% chance to lose 3 health and gain 100% bonus damage for 5 encounters. All right. Just like... Whew. I do feel like, yeah, I, I think uh, having... Grabbing the rope be on... No, but the thing is that grabbing the rope can't be on right-click because then you can't throw objects while you're on the rope. That's the thing. Oh, yeah. I mean, credit where credit's due. It's a little bit clunkier this way, but um, honestly, I think it makes sense. Uh, upon hindsight now. Hello. Hello. 5 HP when you enter a room for 5 encounters. How much money do we have? 52 bucks. 50% less damage. I mean, I'll buy both of those. Yeah. Okay. I like that system, too, for, for shop upgrades and for potions and such. So we have to go straight to the boss, though, is the issue. And th Yeah, I, that's what I was going to say. Is I assume there's probably only one boss in the demo here. And it's not too tough. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, he says not too tough. It wasn't too tough to beat. Like... Ooh, hello. If I die this time... Yeah, I was going to say that was that's going to happen. If I die this time when I have so much more health... Oh my god, I'm, I'm beefing it. I'm absolutely beefing it. Okay. I'm going to wait for him to show up again. I thought... I didn't think I had my ability. Because it wasn't uh, kind of flashing. But we definitely do. Okay. We want to get high up here. See, look at God. There's so many systems at play that mean that the player gets to, or the uh, the game gets to play around with all kinds of different stats with upgrades, and the items are genuinely interesting. Oh my God! What the hell? So, again, the only issue there is something gravely wrong with the sound effects. And it seems like we bugged out the demo by killing it. But again, it's a demo. Is this because I said you were too easy? Is this because I said you were too easy, mister? You, you made it so you were literally impossible to kill? You jerk. I said it was too easy, so he made it so he couldn't die. Again, again, if your only issue... Ooh, wait, what's this over here? Try again? 
go home. If your only issue in your demo is audio balancing, that's a pretty good situation. I will turn back up the audio. I just, I think for obvious reasons, I did not want to hear that anymore. Obviously fix that devs, but you know, I'm sure you will. And like fix whatever just happened. But again, it's a demo. Bugs, bugs are not necessarily a reason to lose faith in a, in a demo, you know? Not at all. Because many, like, early access or even full release games come out with demos, you know? So, or come out with demos, come out with bugs. So if a demo has bugs, I'm not too particularly worried. It's something worth paying attention to. Because that is a pretty gnarly one. But again, demo. We'll see if it happens again. If so, it could have something to do with um, playing a second time. Which I found with a lot of demos, you find bugs on your second playthrough a lot because I don't know if it's like they don't expect you to play a second time or like they expect you to close out of the game. But oh, it's not something I'm particularly uh, concerned about. It's the game is just too fun. It's just too fun for me to be concerned about that bug. Which, again, is also very telling, because that would that would definitely sink my enjoyment of a, of a lesser game. Oh, I thought I had my ability. Just audio balance, fix that bug, add more to it. But the amount of um, variety in the upgrades that's already in the demo is very, very cool. And a lot of times, uh, that's the area where demos skimp. So it's cool. I should have, I gotta look through the rooms because I'm so not used to having like events in rooms after you've cleared them in an action roguelike. But again, I really like that. It feels inspired by strategy games, strategy roguelikes. Having it more like, yeah, like trade off events, stuff like that, risk rewards on the fly in a normal room. Typically in action row lights, they have to be in, you know, their own thing. Like, this is the this is the event room. Oh, I thought that would freeze him completely in place. Oh, I was trying to be I'm trying to be super cool on that one. I'm trying to roll through it. And then grab it again. <laughs> That's so god dang cool. Oh god, I've tried so hard. The the skill ceiling of this game is huge. The skill ceiling of the game is huge. The demo is quite easy. Judging by the fact that I beat it twice without like being good, really. Uh but that this is also the first zone, so I'm fine with the first zone being this hard. You know what? I feel like we haven't used this one. Is there an event in here? So what is this? What is that? Still don't know if I know. Break the boxes! Get the gold! Wah. It'll be fine. Go. I'd be embarrassed to need the gold. Oh, shoot. I just realized at, like, truly how big of a deal it is to, uh, chart out your your pathway through because we are going to basically just fight the boss after this now because we've decided to practically skip everything God. yeah just again even just the amount of variety in objects you can throw is huge it really feels like they finally like this is an action rogue like where at the base they were like what first? What is fun? What sounds fun to do? Oh god, this is gonna be hell. What sounds fun to do and then work from there? Opera memory? Sure. Consumes your memory. Time capsule. Gain three oh oh! Gain three alterations after three encounters. Well, obviously I wouldn't have done that if I had known. Do more damage while airborne. Yes, please. 
See, so like, look at that. I could have gone bing, bang, boom, there. Bing, bang, boom. Bing, bang, boom, bow, boom, bow, boo. And I would gain extra encounters, you know? But because of the map generation and the way I, like, picked to go there, we, uh, we have to fight the boss much quicker. So there's... Ah, there's extra strategy in what you want to do whoop, with your choosing your layout, which I, I really like. How much more damage we do? We do 30% more damage in the air. I also like that there's that little uh, symbol in our above our head there. Letting us know that we're getting the actual effect. I find that, especially in action roguelites, they don't care about the quality of life of that stuff. It's nice to know when those things are actually happening. Because you're not going to know in... You're not going to analyze numbers often in the middle of chaos. Typically. Die, man. Oh. No, I wanted to get on the rope. I wanted to get on the rope. Uh, does it count as being in the air? No. I bet you there's a separate upgrade for doing more damage while hanging from a rope, right? Okay. Oh my god, there's one on the left too. This is a this has been a brutal room for me. It's also interesting. How many times have I said that word? It's usually a sign it's a good game. I want a little bit of hell. I don't really I don't need money. I'm not go oh my god, this is this is a pit. That's a pit. I don't need money, there's no shop after this. Alright, is this going to be bugged again? It may well be, but I, again, I wouldn't... God, I didn't think he was going to turn around. Okay. Fine here. I want to go pick up that orb, but I'm scared. All right, I'm going to wait for, like, a time where I know we're going to get a lot of shots off. Oh, ah, the iframes, I almost, almost is good enough. I should be in the air. Oh, my God, wrecked. This is definitely a good time to do a lot of firing and just get in the air, get in the air, get in the air. So much damage. Yeah, I, I there was nowhere to go after I chose to do my jumps. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, fingers crossed. No bug arena. Iframes make that move so much easier. I think that's the thing we would end up seeing is that some bosses would become like quite trivial by iframes. Okay. Okay. All right. It was just a bug once. It was just a bug once. I. I want. I want. I want to play again. I want to play again. This is. It's so good. It's so good, and I just want to keep on playing the demo again. I never want to play a demo this many times. Then again, they're typically not this short either. Uh, what would we? Let's change things up. Dodge chance. Can we? Okay, so we can also upgrade these individually. Gotcha. What's this? Attack rate, but reduced health. Sure. Knockback crit chance. I gotta be honest, I just... I can't imagine playing this without the that iframe. Maybe it has some at a base. But this just gives you, like, a much more noticeable amount. This will probably be the last. Yeah, see, there we go. That, we can't. We couldn't do that if that was on the same. Uh, on the, uh, the same key. Well, it just feels good to play. It just feels so good to play. Play this demo for yourself. Like I don't know what it. I get. Like I don't know how well it's coming across through video for you guys. 
play this demo and feel how cool it is to move around and see how how actually easy it is to do something that looks cool. When an enemy dies, your clips gain bullets. Hang, cling to walls. I. That sounds fun. <laughs> All righty, next. Man. Like, I, I I can't... I just can't say how impressed I am enough uh, with this as a proof-of-concept demo. As a proof-of-concept demo, I cannot understate. I cannot overstate. I cannot understate. I cannot overstate how, how uh, pleased I am. And how much this has absolutely jumped to the potential top of my games that I'm excited about list like truthfully and I was expecting it to be fine like I genuinely I was expecting it to be fine and I'm wowed I am wowed and it's not uh, the, the fact that I was only expecting it to be fine has nothing to do with anything of the game it's more just like I said I, I just have not I'm not I don't know there's not been a, a, a real slapper action roguelite in a long time Again, it, like the, the only thing that comes to mind is Ravido. Boop, boop, boop. Oh boy. Oh! Oi, oi, oi. Voidigo is another one that comes to mind as well. I do like Voidigo, but boy, that is brutal. Brutal and usually fun. Very brutal. Good game, too, though. Very good game, too. Whoop. Go, 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 go. But this is just raw fun. Just raw fun. I, I, I know I need to look through the rooms, though. I just, like... I'm, I'm just trying to get back to the action again. Huh. Me a nerd. Oh, he can throw through the walls, and I can't. <laughs> Come here! Hey! <laughs> Dang it! Uh, we got two enemies that are not good for wall clinging. So it looks like your combo gives you extra crit chance. Yep. Your crit chance is based on your combo. That's so smart. That's so smart! That... That was a, a little wild for me. Okay. Oh, ay, ay, ay. Oh, ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, ay, ay, ay. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Holy crap. I, I deserve all of that right there. Gain two to three ether with each blood portal you enter. Oh, enhancement? The... Oh, uh, I'm losing my mind at how many cool things are in this. It just, it does, it's doing it all. It's doing it all that I wanted. Like, everything I wanted. I don't think we want to do this because... This is something that it'll make sense to do when there's actually a full game um, to do it with. Give me another perk. Give me another perk. This will be the, uh, this will be the last run we do here because, honestly, I picked this because I needed something to, uh, that would only take 30 minutes because it's going up, uh, today. Like, literally the day I'm recording it. Uh, and I have, I just got too sucked into the game that I, uh, I guess it's, I guess it's been 40 minutes. Oops. My bad. My bad. I feel like he probably can't hit me from here. I think I might be, uh... No, he can almost certainly probably hit me from here. He didn't, though. Ah, God. Those guys attack really quickly after they spawn. 
Oop. Oh. Huh. Huh. oh my god, that was so cool! I got in with the iframes, picked it up and threw it and got out with a second set of iframes. Yeah, I just... Oh my god. If you play the demo... If you play the demo, please pick up the iframes on dodge roll. It just feels so cool. I'm losing a lot of health because I'm just like... I'm like a freaking schoolgirl right now. Just a giddy. He's got armor on top. He's got a dang thick lunge. We're gonna, I'm going to die for the first time. Because I'm just... Uh, yeah, I'm going to die. I deserve it. I deserve it uh, greatly. Attacks do more damage. Sure. Is there an event in every room? Don't think so. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go die. I'm not gonna take no damage on this. No way. The fact that I dodged that is. I'm really pleased though. Okay. Keep paying attention. Just take it patient. Okay. No, that was almost bad. Uh. Huh. Oh, that's the move that spawns the eggs. We gotta get him now. Let's go. Oh, that sucked. <laughs> that that right there sucked. The amount of time you had to react to that. Uh, I can't be mad at myself. I almost did do. I almost did do it perfect, and of course that attack is one of the ones that does two damage. I can't be too mad at myself. I I, I rocked that boss fight. I just I beefed right before it. But alas, wait, what's going on here? What? There's a sword too. What? There's a whole new weapon? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my I had to go, man. I, I didn't think there was going to be a whole freaking another weapon in the... Oh my god. I didn't think that there was... I. This game was impressive when there was only one weapon. Did you see that there's, there's like... Oh my god. This game was genuinely impressive when there was only one weapon. What the hell, man? You roll faster, chance to be healed, and you do critical. When dealing damage, you have a chance of dominating nearby enemies. I kind of just go with a... More iframes. I feel like we want mobility. We are going to go quick here with our... And we're going to pick a path that's really fast there. What does that do? Oops. I can't. I, like, I'm, I'm floored. That broke me. The fact that the game never even just mentioned that... Oh, yeah, by the way, there's, like, an entire extra weapon to play the game completely differently. And you know what that means. That means that those items, or the uh, the pickups, the perks, there have to be sword-only ones, too, because... It's not going to be like, okay, uh, recharge the clip in your sword when you kill an enemy. I'm floored. 
Yeah, it's a completely different play style. Feels good, too. It, it, it genuinely... Melee is feeling strong right now. Floored. F absolutely floored. Give me an upgrade. Partially feeling uh, stronger than uh, than the, the gun, to be honest. Partially. Ooh. Uh, uh, no, uh, double, oh, double poorly timed rolls there. There we go. Uh, son of a gun. Ah, oh, son of a gun. All right. I think I'm going to die again. I guess this uh, removing the 10 max HP is, is my curse. The melee is absolutely more dangerous. Like, I can't deny that. I don't really think I want to trade my health right now. Absolutely more dangerous. Chance to exp You know what? Fine. Let's just hope that it's an explosion that can't hurt me. And again, let's... We're, we're gonna go quickly here. Because, like I said, I had to go. But I needed to see this. Okay, it's an explosion that can't hurt me. That seems really good, then. Oh... Doesn't seem like there's a lot of ways to heal, which I think could be entirely intentional. I also like that thro uh, throwing objects are genuinely very good. Like, they do a lot of damage. I Like, I hate when games put interactables and throwables in the game that you're like, why would I ever use it, though? Oh, God, what? I thought you died. I thought you died. It's like, cool, thanks, but why would I use that over, you know, just hitting the attack button again? And that's made better. Yeah, okay. I, I don't expect to necessarily win this fight with a melee weapon here. Oh, God. Good jump, idiot. Ugh! I don't expect to win this. I really, really, really don't. Oh, God, that's brutal. Because the gun makes a lot more sense for this fight. Okay. What do we got going for? Okay. Okay. Ah! Right at the last second there, huh? Good crit. Okay, this is spooky. Ah, just don't do it. Don't worry about it. Can we break... Uh Mistakes were made. Okay. I can't tell what will count as as me hitting him. Scared. Okay. <laughs> screw that, man. Screw that. Oh, very cool though. Very, 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 very cool. I'm glad I died too. It proves that. Because, like, I was not paying as much close attention on the uh, the second runs, or the uh, the other runs. So I'm glad that it that I died, because that proves you do have to try. You genuinely have to try. It's not just get a good build and you'll win uh, the action roguelike, which is another angle that a lot of action roguelites have been taking. And at that point, it's like, hell, just, you know, why even have action combat if the only thing that matters, the only thing that matters is the build. Oh, I love this. Oh, this is so good. Oh, this is so good. Let me tab out. I forgot the name of it, though. Uh, Mad Shot. Mad Shot is uh, coming out in 2022. You can play the demo for free right now as part of the Steam Next Fest with the link at the top of the description here. No, it's not sponsored. The game is just so good. Uh, it's so much better than I thought it was going to be. Mad Shot coming out 2022. Wishlist it right now. It'll help make it so the game blows up when it comes out in the future. Uh, you're going to you're going to see a lot of people playing this. You're going to see a lot of people playing this. This is going to be another one of those ones where uh, I play it and then all of a sudden you see every, like a bunch of channels checking it out. This is going to be one of those games. So when they all play it, go in the comments. Make sure you, you'd say... Oh wow, yeah, Retromate. No, don't actually, don't don't flame them. But you know, be like, hey, you know, I saw that I saw Retromation play this a while ago. 
the, the channel that is finding all these games that all these other games are, or, or all these other channels are finding, then people go, hey, wow, how do you find these games? And the answer is they check my channel. That kind of, it's going to be one of those games. It's for sure. I really firmly believe so. Maybe not, maybe not for the demo, maybe for the demo, but maybe not for the demo, but definitely when the game comes out, I will check this out again because this is so good. Uh, I cannot wait to play more when there is more to play. I don't think that it makes sense to do a mini series off of the demo because there's just not enough zone in it yet. But the if a demo is a proof of concept, this crushed it. This crushed it. Genius, uh, genius amount of like the amount of upgrades and everything that they put put in makes it clear what the focus is going to be when the game is out and. All of the areas that needed to be focused on are focused on. Really, my issues are audio balance is a little bit rough. That is so small, so insignificant. That can be changed in a hot fix. <laughs> like, uh, just changing it, changing some audio balancing levels. That can be changed in an absolute hot fix. It's nothing. And obviously, the, the huge... There was the game-breaking bug, which was the one thing. But again, it's a demo on a second playthrough. I'm not too worried about that. I think that'll be fixed as well. Bugs are not something to be to mark points off of a demo for, uh, in my opinion. It's something to mark points off of an early access game for, maybe, and definitely for a 1.0, but definitely not for a demo. Not in my opinion. But alas, alas, this has been Mad Shot. My name is Retromation, covering the games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes. If you want to find out where all of these games, you know, that everybody's playing... Who, who's checking them out first? Go subscribe to this channel. You will find out about them before anybody else. Uh, check it on out. Subscribe. Like, comment, all that garbage. YouTube loves that stuff. Help with the old algorithm. Help the help help the old retromation out. It'd be nice. But yeah, if you like this genre, especially action roguelikes, uh, strategy roguelikes, all of that, subscribe. New videos every single day with hot new games that you may not see anywhere else, or maybe you'll see everywhere in a few weeks. We'll see. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye!